Pisces. Scorpio, it's Lisa with Heart of Inspiration here for your February 2019 reading. This is for Sun, Moon, and Rising. So if it doesn't fit your Sun, please check out your Moon and your Rising. If you, this is your first time here, welcome. Thank you very much for checking this out. Uh, please consider liking and subscribing. And if you're a frequent flyer, welcome aboard again. And we're going to get started for your reading now. You know we're here to help you lead a spirit-led, whole and healed, peaceful and prosperous life. And Scorpio, I'm seeing some pretty good things for you for February. We do have the sun, bright new beginnings, just like um, really happy about where things are going. Things are starting to look up in February. Very happy about that. With the Justice card as well, could be a Libra in the mix. However, I feel like you are getting out finally what you've been putting in. You're finally getting the, you're reaping the benefits of all of your hard work and everything that you have really been seeking, all the manifestation, all the energy you've been putting into things and you're really, you're getting it and, it, and it's coming to fruition. Um, we also have the uh, overall energies of the oppression card, which is the devil card. Uh, beware of toxicity. Beware of looking at things in a toxic, from a toxic point of view. Um, and uh, just just beware that you're, you know, sometimes, I know everybody is not all unicorns and glitter and gold. However, um, just beware that you're looking for a toxic person under every rock. Okay. Um, try not to be too negative in how you're looking at things. Um, getting into the reading of the first week, we do have yourself, the Knight of Cups. So I feel like the first week in February, you guys are really um, going to be all about, like really in your glorious Scorpio selves. And also with the Knight of Crystals, moving forward, not at a fast pace, carefully, but like I said, little by little, things are coming into manifestation. Um, the crystals in this Star Child Tarot deck are akin to pentacles. So uh, a lot of spiritual manifestation, uh, things that you've been working on for life purpose or just general like current purpose is really coming into fruition. And here we go with the Queen of Crystals, which again is another manifestation um, card. So... Things are gelling. Everything's finally just like after a rough few months, maybe a rough year even, things are finally coming together. The second week, we have Serenity. Take some extra time in the second week of February to meditate, um, breathe, Scorpio, before you go off. Breathe. Um, you do have the Four of Crystals as well, so it might be a good time the second week of February to uh, really kind of uh, be a little bit more reclusive, okay? Um, don't be very social. Uh, you may be a little quick to kind of pop off a little bit, so just be aware of that the second week of February. But also we have the Two of Cups, so... A love interest, maybe. Um, someone that you've worked with a lot. Uh, so the Two of Cups also is like the contract card. You've got the the uh, rainbow there, which was the contract between God and Noah in uh, biblical terms that he would not destroy Earth via, via flood again. So I feel like someone's going to come out, could potentially business or otherwise come into your world and say, I screwed up, you know, or... I know things haven't been perfect, uh, but I want to try again. Uh, don't kick them to the curb immediately. Hear them out. Look at it from a different perspective. Just breathe. Just breathe through it, okay? The second week of February. Third week of February, Six of Cups. Family, friends, um, looking at the past in a fond way. Um, kind of longing for home. Longing for that feeling of home, longing for that feeling of belonging, right? Um, that's been a, a little bit of a burden with the Ten of Wands, but I, uh, you're going to release those burdens and pick them up and say, you know what, maybe I haven't related to you in the best, and you're know, coming off of the second week, 
this new perspective. Maybe I haven't been relating to you in the best of terms, in the best of lights. Yeah, changing your perspective. That change of perspective that you gained in the second week of February, then looking at these, these folks that you've been with, um, friends, family, business partners, co-workers, and saying, I need to look at you in a different light. And you know what? You weren't really all that bad. <laughs> okay? And maybe it's me, right? So really do an introspective check of yourself. Why Why have I felt the kind of like um, clashing with this person? Why has it been aggressive? Why has it been confrontational rather than um, working with the other person again the justice card on the bottom we see there um and then with the page of swords a new perspective new ways of thinking um new ways of communication and it really begins a really fantastic ace of crystals start for you that third week of february it's going to be a really um that's the, i believe the week that the full moon is coming in so that's going to be a really powerful week for you and a very big life purpose week with the four of wands but again watch the toxicity watch looking for that toxic person underneath every the toxicity under every corner and really kind of again look within yourself um and with the emperor card as well own it okay because then it's followed by the empress which is going to be some grand birthing okay of purpose of plan manifestation she's the maven of manifestation so third week of February looks to be very powerful for you in changing your perspective and changing how you operate in the world. And then finally to round February out, we have the page of crystals. Um, again, manifestation, new beginnings, um, promotions, uh, new job, uh, sealed contracts for those jobs, uh, innovative ways of making money. Um, be careful with the Ten of Swords that you don't find yourself burdened by it, though. Uh, don't overthink it. Don't overthink it. Just let it happen, okay? That Page of Crystals card, she has her crown chakra illuminated. Let it happen because the uh, powerful manifestation energy is that birthing energy is coming into play. And um, really the sense of it's time to birth. Uh, it really is time to birth. And if you don't birth a thing, it dies. So don't kill it before it is born. Do not kill your purpose. Do not kill your manifestation before it's born. Well, that was a real quick one for you guys. That's all I have for you, um, Scorpio. I think it's going to be a good, solid month for you. I like it. Hey guys, if you wish to work with me, my website information is down below, um, heartofinspiration.net. Please feel free to contact me for energy work, spiritual coaching, and um, other options, as well as the spiritual conference is happening right here in Madison, Wisconsin, March 8th through the 10th, Propellant to Purpose, um, Reiki 1 Attunement, teaching on energy healing triage, self-healing techniques, how to set up your business. We're going to talk about auras. Um, it's just a lot of, and really do some gift impart, spiritual gift impartation and spiritual gift release. It's going to be a very powerful weekend. Be here, have your face in the place, have your butt in the seat. Let's go on and propel you into your purpose at the beginning of 2019. Hey guys, thank you so very much for being here. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit, give me some comments below. Let me know how things are going for you. Um, I really do read every last one of them and appreciate you so very much. Peace, love, blessings, and joy be unto you today, tomorrow, and for all eternity. I love you guys. Namaste. Bye-bye.